I'm gonna explain to you why I don't use a pedal board and why I think pedal boards are stupid. The first time I ever got a gig that we were gonna go on tour, the first thing I did was went out and I bought a pedal board and a power supply and a bunch of pedals on it and a huge case to carry it around. At the end of it all, I ended up selling my pedal board and the power supply and the huge case and the majority of my pedals. When I'm doing a recording session, even when I had a big pedal board, I would only plug through the pedals that I needed. And the reason is because every single pedal that you add introduces the possibility of noise. It introduces the possibility of failure. If you have a problem, you don't know where the problem is. And anyone who's experimented with like George L cables, that is like a nightmare because you're making your own cables and you think like it's got the best tone in the world. But then when you have a problem and you have 20 pedals, you don't know where the issue is. And it's just an extra, it's like mentally something that you don't want to deal with. You know what's more relaxing? Going through one cable that goes from your guitar right into your amp. Also, what is the benefit of using a pedal board so that you can carry this huge thing to your indie gig where you get like one solo that lasts 10 seconds and you can go through 20,000 pedals and add a bunch of noise and hiss that no one's gonna care about in the audience. Sorry, but that's, I did weddings for over a decade and that means every single weekend I had to fly somewhere and I had to get my suitcase and my guitar on the airplane without checking that stuff, without, without dealing with having to check my stuff. And what I realized at the end of it all, all I needed was two pedals. I could do a whole night of music. I could do jazz, I could do rock, I could do dance, I could do every literally conceivable style of music with one guitar and two pedals. You gotta think about, the most commonly backlined amp in the world is the Hot Rod Deluxe. You're almost always gonna see a Hot Rod Deluxe, and that's a good thing. When I didn't see a Hot Rod Deluxe, I was like, oh crap, because the Hot Rod Deluxe has reverb and it has overdrive, and you can use that to your advantage. If you're lucky, there might be the, 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 the pedal, the built-in pedal of the amp. I didn't even use that, I, I stopped using that thing. And I'll explain to you my settings, and I'll explain to you why I like the Hot Rod Deluxe. I actually like that amp. The two pedals that I would bring would be an overdrive pedal and a wah-wah pedal. Now, the wah-wah pedal would only get used on like solos, because to take a solo over the top at the end of the night when it's like, you know, some sort of crazy rock song, I need to get it over the top, over the top of the band, it can be heard and it gives me that rock sound. That wah-wah would get me to that place. The overdrive is adjustable, right? So early on the night, you can use mild drive. By the end of the night, if you have an overdrive pedal that has two settings on it, you can get a really, really rockish sound or you can get a mild sound. And on my amp, I would set my amp to just a little bit of overdrive. So I would use the Dirty Channel on the Hot Rod Deluxe and just set it super duper mild. If I'm going to do a rock song, I could bump it up just a little bit. And the reverb on the amp gives me enough wetness. You know, like depending on your song, if you happen to be playing a surf song or something really wet, you can just reach back and turn up the, the reverb and then turn it back down. All that crap is a distraction. That's the biggest thing, I forgot to mention that. The pedal board is a huge distraction. You're dancing, you're tap dancing all night, you're focusing on that instead of on this, and this is where the music comes out. If you're limited to just a couple sounds, you're not obsessed with, with what, what's going through the pedal board, you can make better music. So that's another huge consideration which is just so obvious. The issue with the pedal board is that if you're using a power supply, it's adding another, another electrical signal that can definitely introduce noise. If you eliminate that, you don't have to deal with those issues. Now, every single weekend, like I said, I was flying somewhere different. I could be in a barn, I could be in some rooftop place, some beach, you don't know where these power supplies are. And if you eliminate that extra level of fuckery, you don't, you don't have to worry about that because you're just, you're just working off of a battery. Now, I think pedals sound better with batteries. You don't have to, you know, of course the batteries can die. That is the thing, you gotta make sure you bring nine volts, but it's just less headaches, less noise, less things to carry, less things to distract you with, and I just don't see the benefit to pedal boards. I used to look at pedal boards and I was like, whoa, that's so cool, look at all that stuff, look at all these pallets, look at all these options. Now when I see a pedal board, I have a panic attack. I'm like, I need to unplug all of that. All of that is just gonna degrade my signal. The purest signal you can have is straight from your guitar to your amp. Anything in between, cock blocks your creativity and your sound, your tone. It just sucks your tone. If you know that you're going for like a 60s sound where you want the cable to be very long and you want to degrade the signal a little bit or you you understand what the buffering of your pedal does or you know this buffer pedal, that buffer pedal, I don't even understand what that shit does. But like if you understand that and you know the sound you're going for that creates some impotence thing, good for you and you know what you're doing. But in the general case, in my case too, it's just a headache. It's something that I don't want to deal with. If you'd like more unsolicited advice about recording and pedal boards and guitar tones and all that type of stuff, check out this video here or this video here.